Today our topic is solving basic equations, so our essential question, how can I solve equations with one or two steps? First off, some key vocabulary terms, isolate, get by itself, alone, no friends. When we solve an equation, our goal is to isolate the variable, get the variable, the letter that represents a number, all by itself. Inverse opposite, an operation that undoes the other. So the inverse or opposite of subtraction is addition because addition undoes subtraction. So if we start with the number 5 and subtract 4, we get 1. But if we add 4, so here we subtracted 4, here we're going to add 4, we get back to 5, right where we started. So it just undoes what the other operation just did. The inverse of or opposite of division is multiplication because multiplication undoes division. So when we solve an equation, we have to undo the operations. So solving a one-step equation, we have to ask ourselves, what operation do we have? Here we have y minus 17 equals 86. First off, I'm going to draw those railroad tracks. If my goal is to isolate the variable, that means I want y to be all by itself. I want to get that y alone, which means that minus 17 has to be undone. We have to undo it. To undo a minus 17, we do the opposite. Opposite of minus is plus, so we're going to add 17 on the left. But remember, with an equation, we have to keep the balance, which means we have to add 17 to the other side as well. Minus 17 plus 17, they make zero. They undo each other. We're left with y equals 86 plus 17, which ends up being 103. So y equals 103. Second equation, we have 8.7 equals d plus 3.4. So here's our equal sign. Draw those railroad tracks. That's where we need to keep the balance, both sides of the equal sign. Here's our variable, d. So our goal is to get d all by itself. We're adding 3.4 to our variable, so we have to undo that. Opposite of plus 3.4 would be minus 3.4. So we do minus 3.4 on both sides to keep that balance. 3.4 minus 3.4, nothing. 8.7 minus 3.4 is 5.3. So our variable D equals 5.3. So now if we take that one step further, if we have a two-step equation, we have two operations that we have to undo. The first one that we're going to undo is the adding and subtracting piece. Then after we've undone the adding or subtracting, we need to undo the multiplying or dividing. Those are our two steps. So first off, we have to see if we have addition or subtraction to undo. And then we have to see if we have multiplication and division to undo. So we have four practice problems that we're going to do together. 3x minus 50 equals negative 47. First off, draw your railroad tracks where your equal sign is. Then find your variable. Here's our variable. There's x, our goal. Get x all by itself. So two things are happening to x. We are multiplying by 3 and we are subtracting 50. So first off, we have to undo the subtraction with the opposite. The opposite of minus 50 would be plus 50. Add 50 to both sides. If we do something to one side, we have to, have to do it to the other side. Negative 50 and positive 50 cancel out, leaving us with 3 times x equals negative 47 plus 50. I'm down 47, I gain 50, so I'm at positive 3. Now, we have multiplication to undo. That's our second step. We have to undo multiplication with its opposite, which is division. So instead of multiplying by 3, we're going to divide both sides by 3. Now remember, when we have 3 divided by 3, the 3's cancel because they make 1, leaving us with just the x. So we have x equals 3 divided by 3 is 1. So our answer is x equals 1. Next example, equal signs there. Draw your railroad tracks around it. Find your variable. There's our variable t. Our goal, get t by itself. 
We have to do everything we can to get t by itself, which means undoing the operations. So the two operations we have are division and subtraction. So first we need to undo the subtraction, and then we need to undo the division. Undo subtraction with its opposite. The opposite of subtraction is addition, so we're going to add 10, because right there we're minusing 10. Do it to both sides, so we keep the balance. Negative 6 plus 10, down 6, I gain 10, so I'm up 4. 4 equals, well, negative 10 plus 10 is nothing, so we have t over 4, which is really t divided by 4. So now we get to undo our division. Opposite of division is multiplication, so we need to undo divide by 4 with multiply by 4. Now remember, when we multiply by 4, this is really at the top level, so the 4s can cancel out. We don't multiply 4 by 4 and get 16. The 4s are actually canceling, which is just leaving us with t, our variable, equals 4 times 4, 16. So t equals 16. Two more examples, get some decimals in there, get some practice with our decimals. Feel free to use your calculator. You don't have to feel like you have to do it all in your brain. Equal sign is right there. Draw your railroad tracks. Find your variable. There's our variable x. Our goal, get x all by itself. No friends. We have 5.4 minus 1x. Now, this can be confusing because our x is second. So, we are really adding this to the negative 1x, because we could also rewrite this problem as a negative 1x, and then this is a positive 5.4, so plus 5.4 equals 17.7. Negative 1x plus 5.4 equals 17.7. So now we can clearly see we're multiplying by negative 1, and we're adding 5.4. So the first thing we need to undo is the positive 5.4, the adding 5.4. So we're going to minus 5.4 on both sides. 5.4 minus 5.4 is 0. They cancel out, leaving us with negative 1 times x equals 17.7 .7 minus 5.4 is 12.3. Now, since this is a negative 1x, we do need to get rid of that negative 1, because we want x to be positive, not negative. Negative 1 times x, we can undo that by dividing by negative 1 on both sides. Negative 1's cancel out, leaving us with x equals 12.3 divided by negative 1 is just negative 12.3. All right, last example. Here's your railroad tracks. Here's your variable. That's your goal. Get x by itself. I want you right now to try on your own getting x by itself. Once you've accomplished that, show me, and then you can move on to the next activity for today.